Hello and welcome back to Newsroom Nigeria. If this is your first time here or you haven't subscribed to this channel, please subscribe to this channel. This is where you get the most reliable and authentic news from. Like this video, leave your opinions in the comment section as well. Lastly, don't forget to also turn on the post notification bell so that you can be the first person to get notified whenever we upload a new video. Enough of your blackmail and attack on Oshio Mole. Bini Patriotic Group warns supporters of Pastor Isi Yamo. Our attention has been drawn to a series of sponsored attacks that have been written and circulated by supporters of Pastor Osage Isi Yamo against Comrade Adams Oshio Mole. Our attention was specifically drawn to one article titled Adams Oshio Mole, the course that must be exercised. Having critically analyzed the article, we wish to unequivocally state that, one, in the history of Edo State, no governor has ever worked in Edo South, Benin, like Comrade Adams or Shiomole, except the late Chief Samuel Ogbe Mudia. Furthermore, in the history of Edo State, no governor has ever respected the Bini people and regarded the Bini monarch more than Comrade Adam Zushio Mole. It is also on record that in a two states under the Loki Igbinedion government, where Pastor Sage Izeyamo served as SSG, the palace of Oba of Benin was being cheated and shortchanged. It was Oshio Mole and Esa Coleman, who came to expose the fact that the allocation for the palace was 10 million naira and not 2 million naira Pastor Sage, is Izi Yamo and Loki Benedion, supposed Benin men were given to the palace. Under the Loki government, where Izi Yamo served as a powerful chief of staff and SSG, Benin city was in a total mess and was like a refugee camp with a huge infrastructure decay until Oshio Mole came and cleaned it up, making it truly an ancient city through beautification and infrastructural development. Oshio Mole empowered and made more Bini people relevant politically than the government of Loki Binedion, where Izi Yamu served as a powerful chief of staff and SSG. It is therefore hypo hypocritical and disingenuous for anyone to try to tarnish the reputation of a man who has done so much for the people of Edo State, especially the people of Benin. Number four, that while we do not intend to double into the internal happening in APC as it regards the forthcoming primary, we need to also remind Pastor Sage Zeyamu supporters that the same screening process they are currently crying over at and attempting to blackmail Shomole for was the same process and committee that picked him in 2020 and dropped other more loyal and qualified aspirants like Dr. Pius Odubu and others. If Shomole was not a godfather or an enemy of the Bini people at that time, when the process favored POI, they cannot call him the same now. Pastor Ize Yamu supporters should stop trying to instigate the Bini people and whip up tribal sentiments against Oshimole, as we are aware of those who truly love us and those who never wish us well or love us. We are not interested in the tribe religion or status of whom, uh, whomsoever APC represents as a candidate, but as far as the person has the required capacity to work as a governor, the Benis will support him, and we have never voted along ethnic lines in all elections, even if APC decides to nominate anybody from Edo Central or Edo North, as far as they are, they are competent and the Benis will support him because the Oshio Mole, do not from Benin, was the brain behind the beautification of Benin City.
and made it a modernized ancient city of Benin. We have not forgotten the erosion control program in Benin and the quality roads under Oshio Malin. Consequently, we will prefer to support anybody capable, even if is not from Benin, but has evidence of performance in the past, than support any Benin person who we know cannot perform or has no evidence of performance in the previous office. We will not tolerate or accept any further attack on Comrade Adam Zoshiomale or attempt to blackmail him as an enemy of Benin for selfish political interest. We challenge them to show evidence of Izzy Yamu's contribution to a do South people. We also challenge them to show us anywhere Pastor Osage Iyamu has condemned all the abominations of Governor Godwin Obasiki, our supposed Benin brother, against the Benin monarch and the entire Benin traditional council. We have seen other non Benin aspirants like Clem Agba, Professor Osarime, Mr. Godwin Obahan Itisi, openly speaking against the way Obasiki is treating the Benin palace during all their recent campaigns, but we have never anywhere Isi Yamo has said anything or displayed his solidarity to the Benin Palace. We also want to remind the supporters of Pastor Sage that the people of Edo State are not foes and cannot be swayed by his blackmail. We urge them to, solve, to focus on issue-based campaigns and stop trying to drag the name of a respected leader through the mud. In conclusion, we want to reiterate our unwavering support for Comrade Adam Zoshiomale and urge all well-meaning Edo State citizens to disregard the malicious attacks and continue to support the progress and development that he has brought to our beloved state. You all, what are your thoughts? Let's have them in the comment section below. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already done that. I will see you all in my next video. Bye for now.